Daniel Melby plays our national anthem. consolidation of two high schools in athletics, several different administrators, and the preparation of moving to a new building knowing that you would not benefit from attending it. Through it all, you excel and should be confident that you can overcome any obstacles thrown your way. Being that you are the last graduating class of Virginia High School, you leave a legacy to be proud of and will forever be remembered. You have shown pride and exhibited positive character would make you worthy of being called a Virginia High School graduate. We are proud of your achievements and wish you the best as you begin the next chapter of your lives. Our first speeches this evening are given by the Virginia High School salutatorians, Allison Moss, Elise Ford, and Wade Tarsala. Around them 
to grow. Once they've grown enough, they are sent to the protection of their chrysalis. They are made in this familiar space until one day they transfigure into a butterfly and begin their real journey. Like butterflies, we all grow at a different rate and come from different upbringings. Underneath it all, we have shared a constant, a familiar space as we grew, school. From here, we will be set free, diverging onto our own path. Some may be able to go with the breeze, Others may damage their wings searching to find their passions, but can always heal in time. From the building that connected us, the individuals that encouraged us, and the adversity that aged us, we will be ready to take the flight of our future lives. I know this class will go far in their endeavors. It consists of dedicated, lighthearted, and most importantly, kind people. One individual that exemplifies these qualities could often be found helping others with homework or offering them treats in Mr. G's class. Please welcome this compassionate student, my fellow salutatorian, Elise Ford. Who are we? That is a great question. We've spent the last 13 years of our lives trying to figure that out, but it isn't something that you can Google. Some of us already know the answer to this question, but many of us still do not. However, I can proudly speak for the whole class that most of us don't even know what we're doing tomorrow. A wise woman once wrote to me, when you're questioning what to do, make a decision. You can always make another decision tomorrow. You will learn from experiences, mistakes, and accomplishments. It is okay to have taken one step back because you took two steps forward. Forward progress is slow sometimes, yet it is still moving forward. We don't know what we want to be when we grow young, up yet, and that is okay. As we go through this new chapter in our lives, we'll choose our own path, probably more than once, but these mistakes will allow us to grow into the adults we always hope to be. These errors, or wrong paths, will become as vital as our successes, since they will outline us. I would like to thank all of the teachers. Your passion and determination has helped us to realize that being first in line isn't a life or death situation. Through it all, you have been our rocks. As we take this final walk out of the school, we thank you all for helping us to answer the question of who we are. So thank you, parents, guardians, and teachers, for letting us make mistakes. Thank you for molding us into the young adults we are today. And most of all, thank you for showing us to learn from our mistakes as we move forward. I'd like to introduce our third salutatorian, Wade Hartula. I don't want to sound a little e egotistical here, but I believe that this is the best possible class that we could have to close out Virginia High School. We have 10 people that got a college degree before they graduated, four valedictorians, three salutatorians, and several other people very close behind. We have a Division I athlete that is also a track state champion, a Division II baseball player, a person that is going on to pursue junior, junior hockey, a state shot putter, a state alpine skier, two state swimmers, two tennis teams that made numerous state tournaments, a last minute state golfer, and an almost uncountable number of all conference athletes. We have records that won't be broken for some time. From Cam's 800 meter record to Flax's single season penalty minute record, they will be untouched for years to come. You are all amazing and should be all be proud of your accolades and achievements. There's no doubt in my mind that this class will become one of, if not the most successful class in one of VHS. We have future welders, carpenters, electricians, and one airborne ranger, and, the future, and future entrepreneurs, lawyers, and healthcare professionals. And so many of you are further, furthering your educations from HCC to the University of Georgia. Don't just be proud of what you are doing, be proud of what you have done these past 13 years. Be proud of the friends you made, be proud of the families you've chosen, and be proud of what you have become. Thank you all for the past 13 years. It is time that I will not soon forget. Thanks. And good, and good luck in your future endeavors. Before I'm done, I'll leave you with a couple words. Mr. Marcello said to our 7th grade life science class that if we blink, our high school years would be over. And I think that we all blink. Thank you. Congratulations. I now invite Alexia Tollison, Jolie Stock, 
Stockey, Cameron Stockey, and John Kendall to present their valedictorian speeches. Predictability, after all. 
But because we crave this predictability, we often just let our lives pass by without realizing. In other words, we simply exist. We become spectators in our own lives when we just exist, and we miss out on so much. So, fellow graduates, take the advice of Mrs. Savla and be engaged in your journey through adulthood, even if you can't find a manual. Enjoy every moment, whether you are laughing uncontrollably with your friends or scraping off your windshield in the middle of a blizzard. Don't let the mundane slip away, because before you know it, you'll be wishing you had more of those moments. Cherish every little bit of time you have, graduates, and you'll be set up for an amazing life. You may not find a manual, but you are ready to navigate adulthood. I wouldn't be staying here without the support of my family. Thank you to my parents for inspiring me to never give up on my dreams. I would also like to begrudgingly thank my siblings and fellow seniors, Cam and Siri. The two of you have kept me motivated to do well throughout our academic career, and have also provided a sense of balance when I needed it most. In fact, I have the honor of sharing the title of valedictorian with Cameron, and would like to introduce him as our next. Like my sister Jolie just said, thank you all for attending tonight's event, and a special thank you to my parents and my other sister Siri for all the support over the years. There have been some great messages sent by my fellow classmates so far tonight, so hopefully I can match their pronoun words. Over the last six years, I have participated in cross country and track. These two sports have taught me many things, but the main thing they have taught me was how to race, and how to race well. And I strongly believe the lessons I learned on the track will help me in the race that is life. Life, like a mile race, starts off generally pretty well. Everything feels good. You're having fun, nothing really to worry about. This first lap is high school. This lap is important as it sets us up for the rest of the race. Out too fast, and the end of the race suffers too slow, and late, later stages of the race will need to be given more effort. The best way to run this, this lap is by feel, knowing that your body will know what to do. Then the second lap comes around, and you realize you aren't even halfway done. You start to panic and worry about whether you have enough left in the tank to make it through the rest of the race. This lap is a period after high school. Many people end up losing their race here. But if you trust in yourself and everything you have worked towards to get to this point, you will be just fine. Pretty soon, you run the third lap, the hardest one of them all. Everything in your body is telling you to slow down, take it easy, and save something for the end. This section is called the work force. Many people coast through this section, not giving their best effort, because they are comfortable where they are at. That is fine. However, if you want to win the race, you have to keep pushing, knowing that once you make it through this lap, it is home free. Finally, the fourth lap. This lap is often mentally the easiest, but physically the hardest. Many people fall apart and don't make it through to the end, but others will finish strong. This lap is retirement. If all the necessary work was done in the earlier laps, this lap will feel amazing, and the end result will be extremely rewarding. But if laps one through three were neglected, this lap will hurt a lot. In the end, it is up to each of us whether or not we choose to give it our best throughout these laps, but the best way to finish the race of life is with no regrets. Speaking of running, up next is my fellow cross-country teammate, John Kendall. <laughs> Class of 20, 2023, you will all make your own decisions and embark on different paths in the years ahead. You will decide what your next steps in life will be and how to give back to the people most important to you. I am looking forward to moving on to what lies ahead. I have heard many people say over the years that high school is the best time of our life. However, I think the best years are always those that lie ahead and learning how we can be better people throughout our lives. Our years at Virginia High School have increased our knowledge of certain subjects, and more importantly, our school has provided us opportunities to grow through the classes, sports, clubs, and organizations we participate in. We have learned how to navigate through difficult situations, how to win and to lose, and how to learn from our mistakes to be better than we were before. I'm very thankful to the many people who are good at what they do, who are generous with their time, 
and who shared their knowledge in the areas that improved my life as a student, athlete, and person. I am very grateful to those that have supported me these past years, my parents, family, friends, coaches, teammates, teachers, administrators, parents, janitors, school board members, and all other employees here at Virginia High School. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2023. Please welcome the Virginia High School Acapella Choir under the direction of Mr. Matt Craig as they sing Xochaloza featuring soloist Ty Hilton. Each year, the senior class chooses one staff member to speak during commencement. Please welcome Mr. Stephen Golovich, 
Virginia High School Social Studies teacher with this year's address to the class of 2023. Thank you, Mr. Winter. Good evening to all faculty, staff, family, friends, and most importantly, to the graduating class of 2023. It is a pleasure to be up here stand, sharing all the emotions that are filled in this auditorium for one final time. Parents and guardians, you are probably wondering where the years have gone. As you look back at the memories over the years, it is hard to believe that graduation day is finally here. I find myself having the same thoughts. Where did the last six years go? How can it be possible that I will not be seeing any of you in the classroom or hallways next fall? I was fortunate enough to have most of these students as 7th, 9th, and now 12th graders. All of you looked up to me as 7th graders, but now there are a couple of you that I have to look up to. I have seen growth and maturity, personality changes, failures, successes, and so much more over the last six years that has shaped each one of you into the person you are today. I want all of you to know it was truly a pleasure to watch you navigate your journey over your high school careers. Fourteen years ago, I was in your seat up on that stage ready to take on the future. All of you here are now in that same situation. Whether you are filled with excitement, sadness, or scared out of your mind, the future is now. Once you walk out of Virginia High School for the final time, your next chapter of life has started. And so with that, I share a favorite quote of mine. Map out your future, but do it in pencil. Every one of your futures is going to look different. Some of you have your whole lives planned out. Some of you have goals and dreams you want to achieve. And some of you are going to take it one day at a time. No matter what scenario you have drawn out or thought about in your head, don't be surprised if you have to use that eraser once or twice, or maybe even a hundred times. But that is the great use of a pencil. It doesn't matter how many times we want to fix our mistakes, try new ideas, or add to the list. That pencil will always allow for changes to be made. When I share this, I mean it's so much more than just a summer job, career choice, or the classes you are going to be taking in your post-secondary education. Some of you have penciled in your best friends for life, your dream house, the boat you plan on buying, what age you want to be married by, and so many other things that we all would like to plan for. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. I did many of those myself when I was in your shoes. It's a good idea to have some sort of plan, even if it's just mapping out your next day. But some of your friends are going to change. Your dream house may not be as expected, and that boat may have to wait a little longer than you wanted. Life is going to be full of erasing plans that you anticipated. Sometimes it will be easy to accept, and sometimes it will be harder. How you choose to respond to that erasing is up to you. But remember, you can always pencil in that next great plan. I put my own advice into action many times during the school year. There were times with your classes when I had a lesson planned, and that got erased by a pep rally, a special program, or one of you getting me off topic and eventually realizing I am out of time to teach. Whether things went perfect or not, I still have plenty of great memories with your class. From doing a mock trial in 7th grade, and still being taller than all of you, to ninth grade career projects where some of you wanted to be professional athletes, maybe because a few of you were now face to face in height with me. Well, Tyson thinks he is anyway. <laughs> to 12th grade and hearing complaints on the daily about how I shouldn't be assigned to work because it's senior year. And as much as I don't want to admit it, Noah now being taller than me. The memories continue on to all the times you guys made me embarrass myself right here on this stage for homecoming and snow week, crash course with John Green, having potlucks to celebrate literally anything, and a special thank you to Jolie, Macy, and Siri, who came to my class field trip even on senior skip day. <laughs> there are so many more. I could stand up here all evening and talk about them. I guess that means your class has had an impact on me as a teacher. 
And the truth is, you have. Not every teacher gets to experience having a group of students in their class for just over 500 days of their high school careers. Actually, when I think of it that way, maybe I'm not so sad you're all graduating. <laughs> in all seriousness, I truly enjoyed all the class discussions, the laughs, the good times and the bad, but most importantly, watching you all grow in many, many different ways over the last six years. Speaking of the years going by, over a hundred years of history have taken place right here in this auditorium, and you guys get to be the final class that walks across this stage. So, you can put away that pencil for a few seconds, take out your pen, and write down, I will forever be remembered as the final class to graduate from Virginia High School. There is no erasing that. Although I may never cross paths, cross paths with some of you ever again, I wish every one of you success and happiness in everything you choose to pursue. From this day forward, wherever you go in the world, whatever path you explore, and whatever contributions you choose to make, give it your all. I believe in your abilities to create a brighter future as you build your life of meaning and purpose. Class of 2023, congratulations. I'm going to miss all of you, and I wish you all the very best. Thank you, Mr. Glowich. We will now present the class of 2023 for the purpose of conferring high school diploma. Superintendent Schmidt, members of the school board, staff, family, and friends, it is an honor and a privilege to present to you these candidates for a high school diploma. By the powers vested in me by the state of Minnesota and the Board of Education for Virginia High School, I hereby certify that the students in front of us this evening have met the requirements as prescribed to receive a high school diploma from Virginia High School. Therefore, these students shall be conferred all the rights and privileges awarded to graduates from this educational institution. As the Virginia High School principal, it is my honor to present these graduates for their diplomas. Caden Russell Akerson. Brady Michael Alaspa. Michael Russell Alto. Jonah Daniel Mamuni. Chase Jory Anderson. <laughs> Teresa Mary Anderson. <laughs> Ethan Carter Abakainen. <laughs> Lauren Brooks Parker. <laughs> Corey Douglas Dale Byer. Charlie Ryan Belt. <laughs> Emily Lynn Elizabeth Blake. <laughs> Martha Sylvie Boyd. <laughs> Anastasia Audrey Burrish. <laughs> Liam Vernon Bussey. Atreo Thomas Cameron. Charlize Pamela Carlson. Elena Marie Carmody. Kirsten Ann Casey. Brenna May Christensen. 
Michaela Ann Christensen. Mason Washke Kali. Jordan Marie Constant. Tanner Michael Emerson. Dylan James Emery. Carson Na Engel. Hart Adriana Evans. Katie Vera Lazell. Isaac Richard Flatley. Brooklyn Sydney Fleischman. Jade Willow Fritz. Sawyer Timothy Pauline. Wade Isaac Harsloff. Kathan David Tadeen. Dylan Andrew Headley. Noah James Hensley. Ty Thomas Hilton. Elise Anne Marie Ford. Riley Ann Owenstein. Haley Lauren Hughes. Jillian McLean Hughesmaller. Grant Gregory Hutar. Alexa Marie Dismal. Grace Elaine Johnson. Joshua James Johnson. Logan Edwin Johnson. Avery Lynn Jorgensen. Marie Louise Kastner. John Wyatt Kendall. Noah Theodore Kylan. Ava Eloise Knudsen. Hunter Jeffrey Cook. Austin James Kochar. Jacob J. Kohler. Christian Alex. Courtney. Wyatt Patrick Koski. Rebecca Michelle Kowalski. Alaric Elijah Lampke. Brianna Ray Lampa.
Morgan Rose Letty. Justin Timothy Lynn. Devin Eric Locken. Sawyer Matthew Lutzka. Gracie May Mackala. Paige Elizabeth Mackey. Ryan Carney Mananen. Allison Marcella Moss. Cassandra Marie Moss. Gabriel James McLean. Charles Thomas McDonald. Jonah Timothy McLehan. Noah Benjamin Mitchell. Everett Dean Oakland. Gavin Michael Olson. Chauncey Angelo Bettinelli. Maria Frances Phelps. Brandon Lee Phillips. Emmadine Ray Porter. Cooper John Priel. Kendra Renee Rockala. Kaylin Ellen Marie Richards. Landon Lee Richter. Eva Joy Rourke. Dylan Lee Roberts. Amelia Grace Sandner. Grace Elizabeth Angeline Sandstead. Mia Marie Shukart. Ava Hope Cephala. Axel Wyatt Setterstrom. Damian James Thompson. <laughs> Haley Ann Skager. <laughs> Devin Dean Sodren. <laughs> Cameron Paul Stocky. Jolie Jean Stocky. Yeah. 
Siri Catherine Stocky. Skyla Rose Swate. Alexia Navarra Collison. Paige Ann Tiferberg. Macy Marie Westby. <laughs> Tiffany Renee Westerfield. Tyson Xavier Wilson. Elijah William Wright. Matthew Stephen Zupante. <laughs> Graduates, please stand, face your family, friends, and loved ones that supported you here. At this time, please move your tassel from the right side to the left side of your graduation cap. Twenty twenty three.